Hello everyone. Good day to you. Welcome to our program God is love. Yes. Our God is love and his name is love. We are trying to prove this. Identify this from the Holy Bible. There are numerous examples in the Holy Bible where God showed himself as immensely caring and loving. Today we are going to read one such the book of Exodus third chapter verses from 11 through 15 and 35 we now read the text beautiful text the lord said to moses i have heard the grumbling of the israelites tell them in the evening twilight you will eat meat and in the morning you will have your fill of bread and then you will know that i the lord am your god in the evening quail came up and covered the camp in the morning there was a layer of dew all about the camp and when the layer of dew evaporated fine flakes were on the surface of the wilderness fine flakes like hoarfrost on the ground on seeing it the israelites asked one another what is this for they did not know what it was but moses told them it is the bread which the lord has given you to eat moses led israel forward from the red sea and they all marched out to the wilderness of shur now they are in the wilderness after traveling 3 days through the wilderness without water they finally reached a place called mara Mara means bitter. There was water, but the water was bitter. Hence, people could not drink the water. They were angry. They were thirsty. They started grumbling against Moses and Aaron. God heard their grumbling. God was concerned about their problem. Hence, God turned this bitter water as fresh and clean water. People were happy again. God to care of them now after some time they traveled to another place called as elim there god provided them 12 springs of water and 70 palm trees they had enough water they had they had enough shade they had they had enough firewood to cook their food people were happy and settled there for some time after a while they reached the wilderness of sin here the problem started there was a kind of famine there there was no food people were hungry they thought they would die in the wilderness hence they grumbled against moses and aaron again now moses and aaron prayed to god now god spoke these words god said that now he will rain down manna from heaven and this is today's text people of israel grumbled against moses and aaron that they would die of hunger in the wilderness this in fact was a grumble against god himself what did god do then did he punish them was he angry with them no he was understanding towards them he was kind to them he didn't get angry he didn't punish them that time he promised to Moses and Aaron that he would rain down manna from heaven manna is a bread from heaven not one day two days 40 long years until they reach the borders of promised land of canaan what a blessing it is what a promise it was god promised that he would feed his people every single day with fresh manna bread from heaven except sabbath day sabbath day they had to be in the in their tents and pray to god but they could gather more food 
the previous day for Sabbath as well. Now, not only manna, God also promised them that he would give them meat every single day in the evening by sending quails, birds, so they could have food in the morning, manna in the morning and meat in the evening. What a wonderful God. Not one day, not two days, 40 long years until they reach the borders of the promised land of Cana. 40 long years. What a caring God we have. What a wonderful God we could witness in today's text, my friends. God is caring. God is loving. God is understanding. God is merciful. We have few takeouts from today's text, my friends. Let us see what they are. Number one, the Lord heard their grumbling. The people of Israel grumbled, but the Lord was not angry with them. He was not indignant. Rather, he was understanding to them. He was kind to them. And he provided them the best food, manna. He provided them the fresh and best meat, quails, birds. What a wonderful God. Not one day, two days, 40 long years until they reached the promised land. Beautiful God, wonderful God. Number two, he was patient with them. He was patient. He had a lot of patience with them. God had already performed great miracles in their, in, in their life along the way. But again, people were kind of ungrateful. But God was patient enough with them. What a patient God. What a patience God had, my friends. Wonderful God. Number three. God tested their obedience. God wanted them to be obedient, but they failed. They, God tested their faith. They failed. Still, God was understanding to them. God tested them. They failed. Yet, God was understanding to them. What a wonderful, what a kind and merciful God. Finally, people were concerned about their food and drink. But God was concerned about their obedience and they failed. Yet, God was caring for them, understanding toward them. He was extremely good to them. What a wonderful, what a caring God we have, my friends. My friends, let us trust in God. Let us Trust in his providence. He will take care of us, our needs. He will take care of us today, tomorrow, and until our last. This is his promise for all of us. He is loving. He is caring. He is magnanimous. Our God is love, and his name is love. God bless us. Let us pray. You are holy, Lord, the only God and your deeds are wonderful. You are strong, you are great, you are the most high. You are our courage and you are our haven and our hope. You are our eternal life. In the name of Jesus we pray, amen. Good day, everyone, and welcome to another episode of God is Love. This is a JCKU creation series showing God's love for man. When you listen to the word, the word of God, you see this wonderful play between God and his creation. In today's selection, God is literally holding the Israelites hand and giving them just enough help so they remain independent enough to make the correct decision to trust, honor, and most importantly, surrender to the one true God. In all these little stories, they always tell a bigger story that is God's pursuit for love from his creation. And that was quite evident today. It's not because God needs it, but because we need it. My name is Frank. Thank you for joining us. JCKU is praying for you. Please pray for us. See you all at the next episode. Have a good one.